Hi friends, welcome to my channel Interesting Engineering. In our video, we are going to discuss about thermocouple type instruments. In our previous videos, we have already discussed about PMMC, MI, EMMC that is electrodynamometer type instruments and rectifier type instruments. All these instruments measure AC as well as DC values of currents and voltages. Whereas only the PMMC instrument can measure only the DC values of currents and voltages. So the next instrument we are going to discuss is about the thermocouple type instrument and these instruments can even measure AC as well as DC values of currents and voltages even at higher frequencies. That is the major advantage of using this instrument. This instrument works on the principle of thermocouple. So before discussing about this diagram of the instrument, we shall see what is a thermocouple first. So thermocouple is a instrument meant for measuring temperature values. This is an instrument that can measure the variation in temperatures. And this instrument works based on the principle of Seebach effect. So what is meant by Seebach effect? That is. When we join two dissimilar metals, that is when we connect uh, uh, two dissimilar metals in series, there occurs two junctions. And if those two junctions are maintained at different temperature, there develops EMF which will be proportional to the variation in uh, temperature at those two junctions. That is, if we are going to connect two uh, different metals, there uh, we can be able to form two different junctions. So, if those two junctions are maintained at uh, different temperatures, that is, one is at a hotter temperature and if uh, the other one is maintained at a cold temperature, based on the temperature difference, there develops an EMF. So, based on this principle, a thermocouple works. So, that is why it is meant for measuring temperature values. The same concept is made use of in these thermocouple type instruments also. So, regarding its construction, the, uh, it, it consists of mainly three elements. That is, first one that is the thermoelectric element. That is nothing but a heater element. The next thing is a thermocouple and the most important thing is the indicating instrument. As I said earlier, this instrument can even measure AC as well as DC values. Whereas here we are using a indicating instrument as the PMMC instrument. So thermoelectric element is nothing but the heater. We make use of heater to develop uh, a temperature difference. That temperature difference is measured by means of a thermocouple and the thermocouple's output will be represented using an indicating instrument which is nothing but a PMMC meter, permanent um, magnet moving coil instrument. That is the, the instruments that we are going to make, uh, make use of in this thermocouple type of uh, instrument. So here when we look at the diagram, so this is the diagram of a thermocouple type instrument. So here we have a thermocouple and this thermocouple is placed nearer to this uh, heater element and this heater element receives input by means of passing current through it and the output of this thermocouple is uh, represented, indicated by means of a PMMC meter. So this is about its construction. So in our construction we have three main parts, one is the heater element, then we have a thermocouple and this thermocouple thermocouple is connected to a PMMC meter. So, as I said earlier, thermocouple consists of two dissimilar metals. So, when we join two metals, we have to form two different junctions. One junction is here and the other is connected across a PMMC meter here. So, one junction is placed near to the heater element where it will have a higher temperature and the other one is connected directly to a PMMC meter which will be maintained at a normal temperature. So, this heater element receives input by means of current. So, uh, whatever value we are going to measure that we are going to pass into it. So, by means of which the heater receives uh, temperature difference that is by means of I square laws. 
i square r loss now this heater will gets heated up so the change in temperature that is the heating effect will be sensed by means of a thermocouple here so yeah, normally we can make use of two different metals such as uh, in the case of thermocouples we make use of a um, thermo in the case of thermocouple we make use of a, uh, iron constant iron platinum uh, rhodium copper constant iron so these are some of the combinations of metals that is made use of in constructing a thermocouple so here the, we make use of a heater so this heater gets heated up by means of current entering here so this heater will be sensed by means of this thermocouple so here we will have a higher temperature and the other end is at a lower temperature by means of the seaback effect due to the temperature difference that develops emf here so this emf makes the pointer in the pmmc meter to deflect so this deflection will be directly proportional to this emf so this emf is due to the temperature difference over here and this temperature difference is due to the amount of current entering here so we can say this pmmc meter indication will be directly proportional to the current entering over here is it clear so in the case of thermocouple type instrument we make use of a input as either ac or dc input so we can even apply a ac input even at a higher frequency this instrument can have a higher accuracy of measurement even for frequencies up to 50 megahertz so here we are uh, passing current uh, ac so uh, uh, current with uh, even at a higher frequency so this current makes this heater to gets heated up so this heat uh, will be sensed by means of this thermocouple due to which there develops emf and this emf makes the pointer to deflect so this deflection will be directly proportional to the amount of current entering here so this is about the operation of the thermocouple type instrument and regarding its uh, construction part based on its construction we have uh, different types of thermocouple type instruments such as contact type non-contact type vacuum type and bridge type so in the case of contact type thermocouple type instrument the thermocouple will be directly in contact with the heater element that is the heater the thermocouple will be placed directly nearer to the uh, heat element so that it observes it senses the variation in the uh, temperature of the heat element whereas in the non contact type of uh, thermocouple type instrument the thermocouple the heater element will be insulated that is it will be covered by means of some sort of insulation so that uh, the, temp um, the thermocouple will be sensing the temperature with a, a little bit variation in, in the temperature of the heater so the accuracy in this type will be a little bit lesser than uh, compared to all other types in the case of vacuum type thermocouple instrument the thermocouple as well as the heater is placed in inside a vacuum filled chamber so that the there will be no losses occurring here so that there are uh, the in the sensitivity of this instrument will be high so in the case of vacuum type whereas in the case of bridge type instrument uh, the, the thermocouples are connected in a bridge format so that the uh, sensitivity as well as the accuracy will be increased in the in the last type of uh, thermocouple type instruments so these are all the types of thermocouple type instruments and we shall see about the advantages so this instrument measures true rms value of current directly so the output obtained is uh, the measure of uh, rms values of current and it has a higher frequency accuracy even up to 50 megahertz it is free from frequency error and it is also free from stray magnetic field effects 
and regarding its drawbacks it uh, it has a less overload capacity that's the major drawback of this instrument so uh, when we pass a high uh, we current through the uh, instrument that there will uh, occur skin effect that's why uh, it has a, a less overload capacity that's the major drawback of this instrument so with this, uh, this is about the thermocouple type instrument so uh, we shall see about the rest of the type in our next videos so for more videos keep watching please subscribe and share. thanks for watching